Earlier this summer, the Nuclear Regulatory Commission asked for public input on its existing framework for radiation protection. This request followed an executive order, which directed the NRC to reconsider the linear no threshold model and ALARA standards. Of course, here at Generation Atomic, we had to weigh in. Our main argument was that the current system undermines its own mission. How can the NRC claim nuclear is safe while simultaneously treating background level radiation as dangerous? Excessive radiation precautions actually increase public fear, and when people see extreme reactions to tiny exposures, they assume the danger must be enormous. Therefore, you can't build genuine trust when your regulations suggest that no level of exposure is acceptable. In fact, the NRC's current policy, which says that no level of exposure is inherently safe, makes it quite literally impossible for the regulator to claim it's keeping people safe. To understand why this matters, it's best to know where these standards came from. The linear no threshold model says that any radiation dose, no matter how small, increases future cancer risk. LNT also assumes, without evidence, that many small exposures over the course of many years has the same harmful effects as a single dose. But this 1946 theory was never actually tested at low doses. Herman Muller exposed fruit flies to radiation 100 million times higher than natural background levels, then simply drew a straight line down to zero dose and assumed the risk continued linearly. Since then, we've learned a lot more about Alara and how it was originally meant to balance dose reduction against practical costs. But over decades, this once well-intentioned aspirational goal morphed from reasonably achievable to as low as possible, driving expensive safety theater that goes far beyond what the science supports. Idaho National Labs, the US's foremost nuclear energy research and development center, has actually just recommended major changes, including eliminating ALARA requirements below five rem for workers and increasing public limits from 0.1 to 0.5 rem per year. The average American actually already receives over six rem annually from natural sources and routine medical procedures. These new science-based standards simply acknowledge the reality instead of pretending we live in a radiation-free world. After 80 years of radiation fear-mongering based on flawed science, we're finally aligning policy with evidence. Nuclear energy is already the safest form of power generation, and updating these standards just makes sure our regulations reflect that truth. If you want to learn more about the history of LNT, Alara, and how they became established as de facto policy, be sure to check out the upcoming book by Mike Conley, The LNT Report. It's a fascinating detective story about how bad science became regulatory dogma, and it's out now.